Hey guys, it's Carolina here from Carolina's Crafts and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are going to be making a book box. Now this is another 3D project that I am making and this one I'm actually making for my mom for Mother's Day. So I'm gonna put... So I'm gonna put in some letters in here, one from like me, I'm gonna write one from my dog, I'm gonna get one from my sister and one from my sister's dog. Um, and I'm gonna put that in the box. I may also print um, some photos as well. So we'll see. So, so far I cut out all of these pieces. Now, I, like I said, this is a SVG that you could find in the Silhouette Design Store. Um, you could either get it as a Silhouette file or as an SVG so that you could use it with another device or like another cutting machine. Um, but I have my pieces cut out. The patterned pieces I did stitch around and this one's gonna be the front cover. So I did, um, add some sequins and I turned it into a shaker. This part is like the book base. I'm doing kind of like a turquoisey color. My mom's favorite color is like a blue. Um, so I thought a turquoise is nice and it goes pretty with this paper. And this paper is just um, one, uh, like a paper pad from Michaels. It is called Spring Posies. And I just used um, a floral paper from here. Um, and then I'm using, um, you know, turquoise cardstock. And then this is glitter paper, but this one doesn't like shed. And this one is from Hobby Lobby. It comes as a paper pad with a whole bunch of different colors. So that's what I'm using. And this is actually what we're going to start off with. I've never made one of these before. So I thought it would be fun if we made one on camera. I did watch somebody else's process video, um, putting it together. So I kind of have an idea. So let's get started. So it does have score lines, which is kind of hard to see because this is glitter paper. Maybe you guys could see it a little better this way, but I kind of have to fold it this way. And this one I kind of started folding, but then the other ones I didn't. So we're just gonna fold it um, together right now. And I hope I end up doing this right. Like I said, I've never made one before. And this is different than what Craft Purge is doing, like her um, book box kind of case. I still want to make hers, but I really like this book style better. So I'm thinking of doing like this book style and, um, you know, then um, just creating like a little frame for it. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. We'll see. We'll see how this one turns out. Anyway, so I'm going to glue these pieces together. I was actually going to use our glitter glue, but for glitter paper... I'm going to use this. So on this tab here, I'm just going to put some hot glue and then I'm going to stick it to the inside of the box. Okay. And you can't really tell um, where the edge is because, you know, it's glitter paper. So it does a pretty good job hiding. And it also dries fast, which is the nice thing about hot glue. This one needs another little dab right here. I don't know why I keep putting this back on the thing. It's wireless, but I keep putting it back so that, you know, because you could only be off the charger for like a few minutes. Um, because obviously it needs the charger part to keep the glue hot but I think we're doing a pretty good job. That wasn't that long. All right, so there's my hot glue. I did create like a hot glue mess here. Okay, this is gonna get covered up later anyway, so it's not a big deal. But look, we got like the inside of our book box so far. So that's good. Um, our next piece, is going to be this. So these two pieces also have score lines on the back. And um, this one, you want the patterned part out. So I'm gonna fold these pieces first. So you have like a line here. You have a score line here. So you wanna fold that inwards. Actually, I think it's inwards, but I'm not entirely sure. I'm just doing the folding. 
but we could always change it later if it's not. But I think this is how it goes. I, I do think so. Um, nope. It goes this way. Haha. -ha. So this part is still going to go out, but it goes... Okay. So you want the patterned pattern on the inside kind of. So I'm going to take these back out. So I have to glue this piece inside of there once I stick them together. So let me do this one as well. I've been loving 3D projects. Who knew that I would be loving them? But I am. Okay, this tab I'm actually going to put inside because this needs to get glued to that other piece. So it's going to get some hot glue and I'm going to stick that um, together and just make sure it lines up. Okay, and then the same thing here. And this one I'm gluing to the outside, so to the white part. So there's that. Now this piece is just going to go in here and all okay, right, let me turn these guys outwards so that I could fit, fit it in here. I think we have to turn these back in afterwards though. So. All right, so it's just going to go like that. So I need to put hot glue on the bottom here and you want to do this fast obviously because hot glue dries fast all right i'm kind of just like pressing down trying to get it to stick down, um, but I think it's fine. Then this, oh, I guess this we could put on the inside and keep this kind of gold on the outside. So I'm going to flip these guys kind of inwards a little bit. So I'm going to flip these guys inwards, the ones from the bottom. I'm also going to have the link down below to this SVG in case you guys want it, but I've been having so much fun making 3D projects. I hope you guys are enjoying them too, and I think you guys are. Alright, so see how I'm just putting hot glue here, and then I'm sticking it down to this piece. I'm kind of pushing it together as I do that so that the two ends um, kind of meet. I got a gluey mess on this one. All right, that's okay. Okay, so now we have this cover piece so that you would never even know all the stuff we did to our box. So that's just gonna go get placed down here. 
So I'm just gonna go with, in with some hot glue again. I was planning on using my art glitter glue, but with glitter paper, you kind of want to use hot glue because it stays better. Okay, this piece didn't stick down. I didn't do it fast enough. But that's okay. Because we'll just go back in and we added some hot glue and the same thing a little bit here. Sorry if you guys hear the train. You probably do because my window is slightly open on top of that and I live very close to the train. All right, I'm wondering if that was a bad idea. You guys see how like th these pieces are sticking out a little? I don't think I stuck it down fast enough, but we're gonna try to make up for it. All right, that's okay. The inside of our box is looking fantastic. And the only pieces showing after this are going to be the edges here. So this one, which I have the mirror paper cut out. This one, again, I have some more mirror paper cut out and then this other side. So that's all you should see when we're done with this. Right now we need to go in to our other base and this is my blue piece. So we're gonna create the, um, the spine right here and these just get folded inwards all the pieces so you have the edges that are the triangles and then you have this other one as well and you definitely do want to kind of curl this because this is supposed to look kind of like a book so I probably should have done that first just using my bone folder and this doesn't matter too much if you see like creased lines in here because it is um, going to be on the inside, but I am trying to do a good job. I'm not doing a really good job. I'm going to try to roll it around my desk. So we have some kind of a piece here, and this is going to go on the edge. So you're going to end up sticking all of these pieces down inwards. It's gonna kind of look something like that. And these pieces go in. I mean, these don't get glued down yet. Those are gonna get attached with this. But these pieces do need to get glued down. So I'm gonna do one side at a time first. And just try to get it stuck down. All right, so I'm gonna put hot glue on one side. And I'm gonna stick it down to my box. Okay, and then I'm gonna do the other side. I use some heavyweight cardstock here, guys. That's for sure. All right, this one I'm gonna hold in place just to allow it to adhere and stick down. Give it a few seconds to dry because that one is they're super curved. All right, but that's pretty good. Okay, now the next thing we are going to do, we're gonna put these pieces in here and then we're gonna attach this. So I don't know, maybe I didn't do a good job on this, but I feel like I did. Pieces are just not completely 
lined up, I guess. But we are going to kind of make it work. So I'm putting hot glue on this. Oh wait, are these not the pieces that go here? Oh guys, wait a second, it's these pieces. Shoot. All right, we're gonna peel that off later. We're gonna let it dry. It's these ones, because they kind of go with the turquoise. The other ones are gonna go on top, but this one does go down first. See, and it kind of blends in with the turquoise, and I'm still shaping my spine to be like more of a circle while I did that, while I glued it down. All right, and the same thing here with the other piece. Hot glue is nice because it does dry fast. All right, and I'm shaping that again and then just sticking it down. And those are adhering to those little triangles that were on there before. Okay, this is dry. And it's a good thing this mirror paper is pretty thick. Even if it takes off that piece, that's okay because it's thick paper and it has that layer. There we go. So now I'm gonna put those aside for now. We'll do that later. You have your book bottom, so you have the whole box pretty much done, except for the outside blue pieces, but we will take care of that. This we're just gonna fold, and you have your score line, so you're just folding it along your score lines, and then you have another fold here. And then you have this box. Now this you wanna try and round it. Um, <laughs> I don't really know how to do that, but I'm kind of just holding it in my hand and going in with my bone folder, I guess. I don't really know how to get this to be creased. I'm trying to not get too many lines in there, but I think it's gonna happen anyway because what this is gonna do is this is gonna go around. I mean, I guess we could just glue it down, right? and just glue our box inside here. And then we'll kind of just like frame it so that it lines up with the edges and then it'll make it round, I guess. Um, but what I need to do first is put down some ribbon. So I'm gonna be using seam binding and this is gonna be the closure of um, my book. So this one I haven't used yet, but trying to find where the beginning piece is. Like an end piece. <laughs> Not here at all. It's probably like on the inside. Okay. Just gonna take it apart. There we go. So I'm just gonna, right here, just put down some hot glue. Know how much to cut off, and I didn't bring my scissors. Okay, got some scissors, and I'm gonna try to leave like a good, a good amount. I don't know, maybe something like that is good. And this is kind of like stretchy, so we'll go with that. Okay, and then I do want the same amount on the other side, so I'm actually just gonna. Um, line this up without pulling it tight because seam binding kind of stretchy. So I have that and I'm just going to attach that on this side.
I'm just trying to use my bone folder to not burn my fingers. I'm trying to get it flat. I didn't do that on the other side, but it looks like I still got some to fix here. All right. We did make a spidery mess, but that is our book and we did a good job kind of getting it even. So now it's time to glue this inside. I feel like this I should totally be doing, um, I should totally be doing um, regular glue instead of hot glue, but I don't know. This is hard because I want to get it lined up. Is there like one piece that's bigger than the other? Because I know it's supposed to be like on the inside a bit. Kind of like this. And then this piece is going to go on top. But that's still too much. So... All right, something like that is a good spot for it. I feel like I should like put a pencil mark or something, but we're gonna go with it guys and we're gonna try our best. I'm gonna run out of, I need another glue stick before I do this. This is probably one of those things where you should actually use double-sided tape and adhesive. You know, maybe, actually, you know what, let's do that. Let's use double-sided tape because I don't want to mess up. All right, so I do have this, like, thicker tape. So I'm just going to use a few pieces of this. That was a good amount. It's, like, perfect. Okay, and then down the middle, I'll just use a thinner one. I'm just too afraid for it to dry too fast, so I could, you know, I want to get it in the right placement. Okay, so I'm going to take off the tape. And see this piece like I have it sticking out a little I'm just gonna fold it inside and that's fine okay so I have the double-sided tape on the back now I'm actually just gonna use my reptile glue because more comes out than the art Glitter do since uh, do art glitter do um, art glitter glow since this one has like a bigger point. Um, so I'm just gonna use this. Make sure my trim is out of the way. Back to using some reptile glue. Okay. Again, I just want to make sure that I'm getting this in the right spot. So you are going to have a little bit of a border. And before I stick this down completely, I want to make sure that when this is rolled, my book kind of ends up even. So I'm actually going to move it back a little more. All right, now that's like a good spot. And see how here, when this gets glued down, everything else will still be even. So 
that's a good place for it now. And I'm just gonna go in with my bone folder and I'm pressing down on the inside because that will get the, the back to adhere. Can't really do anything on the sides, but I will go in and like try to clean it up a little bit with my finger where I see some glue peeking out in parts where it will be seen. And this piece you are still gonna put in like a panel. So actually is that's this one right here. So you could put this in right here. It's a little big, but I'll do that afterwards. So then what you do here is you want to close this and obviously you want to get it so that there's this kind of border around it. So what I'm going to do first is put some hot glue on the back here. All right. And I want that to kind of be flat. So I'm just pressing down. It's like this um, round part against that. Okay, and then here, again, this is gonna come over like that. So here, you're just gonna put some hot glue along the edge right here because that's gonna kind of line up with the edge of your book if you have it in the correct spot, which I do, so that's fantabulous. I'm gonna go in and put hot glue along the edge and I'm trying not to go to the very top because obviously there's no book part um, there. So I'm just gonna hold it tight and press down. So then when this opens up, it'll open up like this, see? Then you have a cute little book and that stays in place. Then I could attach this piece, which I think is a little like big for this. I want it to be the same height as um, my book right here and to still have like a offset. So I'm actually gonna trim some down. But that's just the size that comes with the file. Um, so I'm gonna trim some down on the side and then going in the other way. And I'm just gonna test it as I do this because I don't wanna cut it too short. So you see how this has more of a border? I like that better, but I, you know, maybe this should go the full length. I just like that it has more of a border now. I think that's actually better. So I'm actually just gonna leave it like this. And you know, later I'll decorate and stuff. I just wanted to kind of do the process part with you guys. Um, but I will go in and decorate and then I'll also film a project share video. So here again, I'm gonna go in with my um, tape and then glue. Have this piece all right so that's stuck down I'm just gonna press down and then peel this off And then here, I'm just gonna go in with my reptile glue again and just make sure to get everything covered in glue. Okay. And this definitely gives you more time than um, hot glue to kind of get the placement right. 
So I'm just playing around with it, making sure it's in the right spot. And by adding in the glue on top of the tape, it gives you even more time because normally the tape is super strong, um, but this gives you more time to also move it around. So I'm just gonna um, put my book like this and I'm gonna press down to kind of uh, get that secured. Sorry guys, I have to kind of do it flat because um, this part kind of, you know, sticks out though. So kind of have to do this at a flat angle where you guys can't really see what I'm doing, but I am telling you guys. And I want to put like a sentiment on the inside as well. Um, and then I'll also probably do one on the outside. I'm definitely going to do a project share, so stay tuned and make sure you're, you know, following me on this channel. Um, so here I was supposed to put the blue pieces and I mean, I guess I kind of need to because this has a white piece. So let's go in and put that in. I'm just going to use, since I have my reptile glue out here and this is just paper to paper, I will just use my reptile glue. And it's okay if I get glue right here because that just, it comes off. I just wanna make sure it's stuck down. So I'm lightly pressing with my bone folder. And then I'll do these edges. You see they don't completely go to the end but I'm gonna line it up with the edge of my box. So again, just going in with my bone folder. Okay, and then we have the top. And I'm trying to cover up some of that um, white from before. So I'm trying to layer this up a little higher on more of the top part of the box making sure to line it up on the edge so you can't see any white. And then I'm just kind of, you know, lining it up with this piece here. All right, I'm gonna go in with a wet paper towel after and get those glue marks off. Okay, so that is our box. And then I just have the layering pieces here. So this one we know is gonna be a shaker. Let me just make sure I have them in the correct order because they kind of line up the pages. So you guys see how this is kind of like a continuous pattern here. So this one's gonna go here. Then we're gonna line up this piece and this one we have to curl but I don't know if you guys could tell but it's a little thinner than what it's supposed to be so I might go in here and add in um, a gold edge that one's not gonna work um, we're gonna need some more gold paper um, okay I don't know I have to see but I mean, this one fits for sure. It's just this one. And this one I'm gonna have to curl anyway, so let me curl that even though I'm not curling it the right way, but I'm getting there. I'm trying to not get too many um, marks in it, but it is thinner paper, so it's easier to kind of adhere. Okay, and then the bottom piece lines up with this, so just like that, okay. 
Okay, I'm just gonna use more of my reptile glue here. I went a little um, shaker happy with this. Added a lot of uh, shaker bits. Okay, I have glue all over my fingers, but I'm trying to press down. It's a little more difficult with shakers because you can't like really go in with your bone folder to press it down. So I'm just gonna try to get, make sure the edges are pressed down. And okay, I could try to go in with this, but that's not gonna be very functional. I don't wanna like rip the tool or anything. Anyway, so that's that. And then there's this piece. So I don't like that it doesn't kind of go too close to the edge. So if you guys see here, I'm gonna line this up like pretty much on the edge, but then here there's like this whole gap there still. So I might just, you know, I might just line it up like this and add in like a gold piece back here because I like the continuous pattern instead of breaking it up and adding like a gold strip right there, if you know what I mean. But maybe, um, I don't think I have any like gold ribbon. Um, so let's try to maybe cut some of this paper and we'll do like a one fourth inch strip since I still have some of this left over. All right, so I have two little one fourth inch strips. I would have done a longer piece, but I don't wanna take out another paper. So this would just go like on the end here it's almost a good amount. And then this would go like here. Hold on, I'm trying to see what this looks like. That's not bad, but I did like how I mean, I feel like I need to do that on both sides then. So I guess we could do that. So I'm going to add in some hot glue here. And this kind of went far. So I just have some hot glue and I'll line this up with the bottom of my other patterned piece as close to the edge as possible. And... Then I'm gonna cut another little piece here. Okay. And so I'm gonna cut this or glue this. So make sure to line that up. Okay, you'll never even tell. So then I could do this piece kind of in piece, knowing that that little strip is there and I could glue this down and I'll probably do the same thing on the back. So I'm actually gonna do that first, just so there's a little bit of gold peeking through both sides and it's not like completely random. So it kind of looks like it was, you know, meant to be that way. So I'm just cutting another strip and I'll just put it on this side right here. So again, um, hold on, let me see how this would go. Cause I wanna make sure to line it up. I guess I should probably put this piece down first. Okay, so this goes like this. What's the continuous pattern here? Oh, we had it right. Okay, so that's gonna go like that. And I'm 
just sticking this down. Just making sure I have it in a good spot. All right, and then I'm gonna press down. Not too rough because it is a box, it's paper. But I'm pressing down a little bit and I'll just go in with my bone folder. Okay guys, I just changed my battery on my camera. I hope you didn't miss too much, but I was sticking this down. Now I'm gonna go back in and put my gold strip here as close to the edge as possible. And let me put down this other little piece down first. Um, so I'm just gonna get some hot glue on here and we're just gonna stick it down as close to that like um, to the perforated line as possible. And this one I want to make sure to line up on this side and then make sure to line it up there too. All right, so you guys do see some glue here. That's okay because our patterned paper is gonna go there. So making sure that this is, that's not the right way. All right, so this is the right way. And now I kind of could just place it um, and you have a little bit of gold peeking through on both sides. Okay, so for this, oh, I feel like I should use my tape again. Is this too thick? Oh my God, it's just good enough. But I gotta place it down really well. Because otherwise it's too thick. Wow, that's perfect fit right there. All right, I'm gonna peel off this tape or the, you know, the top piece of the tape. I'm still trying to figure out, what, ah, don't do that guys. Um, this goes this way. Okay. I'm going to put some glue here. Not only is it going to be more like double secure, but it also gives you time to move it around. Place this in the middle and then stick everything down. Okay. So you just want to make sure to hold it because it, you are trying to stick it to the glitter paper and I might have to go in with some hot glue after also but at least the majority will be stuck down So I do see I need some hot glue here, especially along the edges, and that's okay. Once I got my placement, I don't mind. All right, and the same thing on this side. can't even tell that it wasn't like meant to be like that. It just looks like a nice little addition to your spine. So that is our book. And then obviously you could tie this closed and stuff and you have a cute little 
uh, book box. It's very gold on the inside, I know, but like I said, I'm gonna decorate this. I might even add in just like another patterned paper in here instead, and then a sentiment because it is very gold. It doesn't kind of, um, I mean, it fits, but it doesn't fit at the same time, if you know what I mean. So, um, yeah, but this is a pretty sturdy book. You guys can hear it with all the different layers. It's pretty sturdy, so I like it. I hope my mom likes it for Mother's Day. And definitely give this uh, book a try, guys. It's a fun um, 3D project. It doesn't take long. It just took me longer because I was talking to you guys. Um, but this is not a project. This is probably like a project you could do in like 30 minutes. So um, fun, nice little 3D project. So thank you guys so much for watching. And I shall see you guys in my next crafty video. I'll talk to you guys soon. And make sure to check out my project share. Um, and I'll show you guys what the finished product looks like when I do finish it. So I'll talk to you soon. Bye.